everybody. I just got back from a grocery haul. Um, I went to Costco and I, and I actually bought, I have one thing that I just grabbed out of my freezer that I had bought yesterday on its own when I was out. Um, but I wanna go through the grocery haul, but first, if you're new here, I'm Anita from ketogenicwoman.com where I share keto and carnivore recipes, other cooking ideas. This has helped me to lose over 125 pounds. So check out some of my other videos, hit that subscribe button, returning subscribers and viewers. Thank you so much for coming back and I hope you enjoy this grocery haul. So what did I get? Oh, I'm, I went there with the intention of getting all non-beef items because I do have quite a bit of beef from the last grocery haul. I probably still have half of that left. Um, but there was a couple things I could not resist. Um, but let me go through what I, what I have. I, I wrote it down because I've broken it out uh, by cost per pound. So the first thing was bacon. So when I'm at Costco, I just get the Costco Kirkland bacon. I like the way that it gets super crispy when I oven bake it, which is normally how I do it. Boy, has it ever gone up in price. I remember paying less than $20 for this pack. Um, and sometimes they'd have those in-store coupons and it would be four or five dollars off of that. $29.99 for this four pack, it is two kilograms in total, which is almost, which is 4.4 pounds. It, so it works out to $6.80 a pound. That is the price we pay in Canada, which reminds me, my prices are gonna seem high to you because our dollar is worth about 70, 5%, sometimes 70%. The Canadian dollar, what costs you uh, $7 costs me $10 approximately. So just keep that in mind when I'm giving you these prices. So that's that, the eggs. So I did get organic eggs. I could have got cheaper eggs at Costco, but I decided I wanted to stick with the organic eggs. It does work out. So this was $12.49 for two dozen eggs. And even without the exchange rate and inflation, our eggs here have always been more expensive than wherever you are. Unless you're, you know, in a, I'm talking to the people in the U.S. You guys have very inexpensive eggs. So that works out to 52 cents per egg. The other eggs that I normally have been buying at Costco are 38 cents per egg, but I just, I did it. Okay, so uh, so these chicken wings, uh, the reason I wanted to show them to you is because I've never seen this before, but the whole package is flats. No drumettes, I love the flats. They are my favorite. I would gladly pay, I mean, I think chicken wings are kind of overpriced. These work out to $6.69 a pound. There's a pound and a half in here, but I do love the flat, so I couldn't resist that. Um, yeah, got those. The So Costco has goat feta, which is apparently um, supposed to be better than cow feta um, from a digestion point of view as well as from a carb point of view. Um, so I, I, I love the taste of it, so I don't mind that. And uh, I'm going to make some feta burgers with this turkey breast that I'm gonna, or this tur brown turkey I'm gonna tell you about in a minute. So I bought a big pack. It, that pack is uh, $15.49. And it's a whole kilogram, which is about two and a half pounds. So goat feta, the ground turkey. At my Costco, it comes in a four pack. It's extra lean ground turkey. One of my favorite things, and, and I learned how to do this when I was doing protein sparing modified fast last year of all things, um, is the turkey feta burgers. I love them. And I'm gonna link that video below so that you can check it out and make it. They're so juicy. They are wonderful. And so the ground turkey works out to be $5.66 a pound. Well under my $10 a pound threshold that I set for myself. 
So next up is, uh, and, and so here comes some beef that I couldn't resist while I was there, even though I have lots. This is a sirloin, uh, two sirloin tip oven roasts. I really like to put them in the sous vide and then slice them super thin. Uh, I try to cook them rare in the sous vide. I, you know, shoot for rare to medium rare, um, but it makes wonderful cold roast beef, um, you know, slices with mustard, it's great. Um, the price of this, I was so surprised. It turned out to be $4.94 a pound. I can't even get ground beef for $4.94 a pound. So I grabbed that one. Oh, I have butter. So my Costco did have the New Zealand grass-fed butter, but they only had unsalted today. I grabbed a couple because um, I can use this one for baking. I do like the salted, it's in a green package. But also the price there has gone up. It's $7.29 a pound. Um, now I know you might be thinking, well, just buy the regular butter. The regular butter <laughs> is more. <laughs> so um, at the, you know, all the grocery stores around here, you're lucky to get it for under $7 a pound. Usually, it, I mean, right now, kind of the regular price of regular conventional butter is $8.99 a pound here. Uh, it's, yeah, it's not very nice. Um, so my other piece of beef here, I could not leave this on the shelf because there was only two bags of these on the shelf and this is my favorite. And it just looks like a bag of meat. It is a sirloin cap roast, otherwise known as picanha. And I'll link down a couple of picanha videos that I've done below. Um, I do have two picanhas still in my freezer, but after I saw the picture of the sous vide picanha from Carnivore Quest, I thought, uh, <laughs> I'm not leaving this on the shelf. This works out to be an amazing $6.80 a pound. It is worth every penny. Uh, don't tell Costco it's worth even more than that because I wanna keep paying $6.88 or whatever, $6.80 best meat that they have there. Uh, oh, and lastly, this is probably the deal of the day at Costco. This is a whole pork shoulder blade roast. And these are amazing. You have to cook them low and slow. So I'll, I'll do, I'll include them in a meal prep video, which, which I'll do in, in a couple of days or something. This turned out to be $3.18 a pound and it makes the most succulent, moist roast if you cook it properly. So um, yeah, definitely we'll show you how to do that one in an upcoming video. So that's my grocery haul today. So watch for an upcoming video where I make use some of, the, of some of these items. I'll link anything that I've already done that you might be interested in down below. And uh, we'll, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. You know what? It was buried. I didn't cut. Hang on. Uh, okay. I'm gonna do a quick conversion here. Okay, thanks. Quick conversion. Wow, this is crazy. How did I miss it? So it is. Okay, so three dollars and eighteen cents.